Hi, it's your boy Care2 Spoon. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you love the stuff that we're doing here, I encourage you to go check out Care2Spoon.com. I have a bunch of different services on there that really show you how to unlock your full potential as an RV guitar player. So today I want to show you a good exercise um, that a lot of guitar players are trying to figure out how to do like different kind of passing stuff to connect their chords. It's a great exercise because what we're doing is we're just taking the loop, but I'm showing you different ways to play that same kind of pass so you don't always find yourself fixated playing the same exact thing every single time. I know as a guitar player, you get tired of trying to figure out what to do and then you find yourself doodling and just kind of just playing over certain kind of changes that really don't help you um, play the song the way that it needs to be played. You want to find tasteful things to do, but you're just trying to figure out how to do it. So the name of this song is um, Nevermind. It's by Drake and Bryson Tiller um, and Kalani. It's just a, I just got a, the beat. I just want to play the melody for you so you can hear how it goes, and then I'm going to show you some ideas and approaches that you can use to apply your, to your playing so you can start doing these different kind of things in your own practice time and even implement them in live sessions. Here we go. So this song is in the key of E flat. into the beat or whatever. So the song is in the key of E flat. That's going to be our one. So we're going to start playing that A flat major seven. Then I, I chromatic and I walk up the bass line from that F to that G. You can do a minor seven, minor eleven, minor. Um, you can even do a dominant seven. And I'll talk to you about those different kind of changes. Then we go to a C minor. Then we're going to slide down here. And I do like a nine shape. So And so when I was telling you about when I get to that G, I can make two, I can make, honestly, I can make three decisions of what I want to do. So I know because of how the shape is and certain times of the changes, I can do a dominant seven. Again, and go to a diminish. Yeah, B, diminish, back to that C minor seven. thinking of those different melodies that I can play to connect it. And when you're going to do your hammer-ons, you want to be tasteful with your hammer-ons. You don't have to do like the fast. Every single time, you can do one movement. There's various ways to do it, so you want to be tasteful and be intentional whenever you do your hammer-on, so that way it can differentiate every single time that you go around. You don't have to do a hammer-on every single time, but if you decide to do it, there's different ways that you can do it in order to make it more tasteful. <laughs> and I try to play with every chord, so. So I take the same line, I played it, uh, so I, I played it in reverse, so. And I played it, reverse it again. The same notes but just trying to figure out the different textures that you can use whenever you're learning how to put those different melodies with the chords. And a lot of times you'll find when you're playing these chords, you don't have to play the full chords. 
Especially when you go to that dominant seven, you don't have to you don't have to strum, you can give a couple of different notes. Like a, almost like an arpeggiated kind of thing. Even with the same the diminished seven. Quartet kind of movement, and know where to place it. You can use that same kind of movement whenever you're learning how to play different kind of melodies to put it all together to really make us a, a nice sandwich, if you will, of whenever you're deciding you want to play those different types of progressions. So, if you really enjoy that lesson, like I said, I encourage you again to go to k2school.com. I have a so I have a lot of different other options that are going to help you unlock your full potential as an RB guitar player.